We've had inquiries from people who want to process 9x12 film in our SP445 film system. Uh, the problem's pretty obvious given that 4x5 film is about 99 and a half millimeters in width and from what we can tell, um, the uh, 9x12 is actually 88 millimeters. So while we are looking at doing another film holder just for 9x12, we really don't know where that project is at right now. It, it may end up being another Kickstarter. But in the meantime, we'll show you how to modify one of our standard film holders so you can use it for 9x12. Now, if you've ever built a plastic model, you can probably do this in about 15 minutes. And don't worry about taking notes. We'll post details on our website. Uh, things you're going to need here, you're probably going to need a knife of some kind, a metal straight edge, and probably a file or some uh, sandpaper. Then you also need some plastic cement. I like to use uh, acetone, anything that will melt ABS plastic. Now head to your hobby shop and look for the architectural plastic. They use it for model railroads and architectural models. Um, what I got was about a quarter of an inch in width. And cut a piece of that that is just, there go, just a little bit shorter than your film. Once you've done that, take that piece and cut it lengthwise about a third of the way from one edge. And we don't need that piece. Now, if you check your film holder, you'll see that from this edge to the outside of this first rib is 89 millimeters. So, we'll t we'll, you'll need a spacer. This is just a piece of fiberboard I found, about a millimeter thick. Anything that won't melt will work as your spacer, wood, cardboard, whatever. And you're using your glue, you just glue that piece of plastic that you made to the outside, to outside of that first rib. Okay, once that's cured, it will look something like this. And if everything works right, your film will slide right into place. Now, before you ask, Yes, as soon as the spare parts arrive from the factory, we'll have extra film holders for sale on the website. Um, we'd love for you to share your favorite photos. You can post them on our Facebook page, join our Flickr group, or send us an email, and maybe you get featured in one of our blog posts. For more details, check our websites, steermanpress.com and shop.steermanpress.com.